I have got the best job ever today because I'm traveling all around some of the most scenic spots along the Antrim coastline commissioned to photograph them today and we just managed to get one day that's got amazing weather so oh, this is going to be nice and fun. Got Gary with me. Gary? Hello. <laughs> Welcome to a day with Gary. Gary, as always, is a bundle of joy. So go it's six, six different locations to get to. So you're going to get a little bit of a whistle stop tour all around the Antrim coastline, starting here in Carnlock, moving on to Glenarm, and I think we're going to head in inland to look at a weird shaped rock. Don't know if you've noticed, but uh, Gary has come dressed as uh, Agent Smith. Yep. You're supposed to say like something about Mr. Anderson. <laughs> it's far too early for that. True story, Danny McCaskill, the uh, the mountain bike guy, once jumped off that harbour onto a boat on his mountain bike. And uh, some of Game of Thrones was filmed here. But heading on now to Glenarm, which has a castle and a really nice limestone harbour. It's a little bit like here, but bigger. So here is the map and the plan of everywhere I need to go today. All these different locations. This is my sun wheel. Just showing me, not you know, get north, south, east, west, and this is showing where the sun is going to be at each point of the day. Uh, so we're trying to do this section up here first, and then finish up maybe down around Larne. Um, that line is to show that I think we might only get this bit up here done. But we're here in Carnlock, we're moving on to Glenarm, and then after Glenarm, we're going to head um, up into the hills. This is Glenarm and the best place to photograph Glenarm from is end of the harbour, way up in the air because then you get the whole harbour in the foreground, you get this bridge, you get to see that bridge, you get the church in the background and you can't quite see it from here but if you get up high enough you can see right over into the castle so we're going to head over there and fly the drone. A few years ago I worked as director of photography on a friend's short film and we shot down here in Glenarm and that hill over there caught us out because uh, we set our shoot start time to, this, to when the sun was up and that hill delayed sunrise by over an hour. People were not happy with me. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it's like the place is so quiet and peaceful, you don't even want you slamming the gates too loudly. <laughs> Hey Gary, send me your personal information and credit card details. Oh, no fishing. It's quite hard to see, but if you look way, way out there in the background, you can just about see the Glenarm salmon farms, which make some of the best salmon in the world because of, I can't remember the reason, there's some reason. I think like the water's really sheltered or something out there and it makes for like really really quality salmon and you can buy it over there in the castle and they ship it all over the world in this tiny little village in Glenarm. Lovely place. And uh, where are we going next? You know you're in charge, right? Change of plans. Was going to try and fly onto this bridge but there's a lot of ducks and a lot of gulls. And I don't think they would like it. The drone has already been dive bombed by at least one gull today so uh, yeah, next location. Having fun, Gary. Happy Monday, everybody. Is it Monday? Is it Monday? Probably Monday. Monday. Yeah. Something pretty terrible just happened. Need to get a quick shot from a beach down there. Didn't think anything interesting was going to happen. Didn't bring this camera. But the unfolding drama was all captured on the Instagram stories. Guys, I find a fish friend.
Edward. I will see you, little friend. Come on, back to the ocean. Back to the ocean. Lesson learned, don't pick up a dead fish off the beach and shake it in front of my face, but at least uh, the story ended well for the fish. Told you so. <laughs> we're finished with the coast now. We're now heading inland up to Linford Car Park where there's this really cool Neolithical uh, formations. And then we're hiking way up over the Antrim Hills, over Scat Hill to the Bally Gilbert Standing Stone. Guy, are you excited about the Standing Stone? Absolutely ecstatic. Apparently it resembles something. We're gonna run away and leave the world in a train. Oh my god. And where we're about to go, only heaven knows that. <laughs> Linford Road Car Park, just back there. Um, and if you see this place from above, it's really, really interesting because you've got these circular shapes in the landscape, which are these Neolithic, I don't know, there were forts or something like that. In fact, Tony Robinson was here with Time Team a very long time ago. <laughs> Gary's laughing because I kept talking about Tony Robinson. We're heading on up Scat Hill and then on to the Bally Gilbert Standing Stone. I'm still standing stone. Gonna be lots of animals in this video. Earlier we had a fish, and now there's a sheep over here that I think we can probably get quite close to. It's not even moving, that's class. Hi, sheep. Hello. Looks a bit hungry. Here's some grass. No, no, no. You won't eat it with your mouth. Put it through your eye. No. Gary is listening to sea shanties. This is not a struggle to cope with at all. Last year, on two occasions, on two occasions when went for a hike with Gary, once he dropped his sandwich in the mud and destroyed it, the second time he forgot to bring his lunch entirely. You'd think he'd learned by now. Gary, what, what has happened? Where is your lunch? It's um, uh, being cooked in the car right now. It's still in the car. It's all right, viewers. Although if you want to donate food, there is a phone line going across the bottom of the screen now. Call now. If you want to donate to the Feed Gary on the Hill Fund, please dial this number now. It's especially important in times of crisis to support local, and that's why I'm eating an Anne's Pantry sausage roll. It was also the only sausage roll that was available in the spa, but coincidentally, it just happened to be a delicious one from Anne's Pantry. Support local. Uh, this turned out to be a little bit further away than I remember. Just a smidge, but. But we have toiled all this way, hiked over these many hills, struggled through the wind, battled the bogs, and survived at all for this. So this is the Bally Gilbert Standing Stone. It's an odd shape, that's for sure. And it's been here for like four, three, four thousand years. And I've been paid today to come up here and take a photograph of it. Definitely a strange, strange one. Looks like a huge mushroom. Little bit of an incident there. Uh, we were coming back down. A family headed up past us. The very small dog with them on a lead. You are not allowed dogs up in Antrim Hills at all. It's just not allowed, not with the sheep up here. And then we got down here to find a woman who says she was the farmer's wife, told the family they weren't allowed to bring a dog up there and they've gone up anyway. And now there's about two farmers chasing them. I find dead sheep up here all the time and 
sheep die really really easily they're not the most hardy of creatures and they can die from shock so that's why if you bring a dog up here especially if the sheep is in lamb or something like that you can kill the sheep and the, sheep, the farmer will lose the sheep and you lose the lamb and um, there's been cases where farmers have lost like seven sheep and seven lambs certain times of the year and it's just people need to make a living and we're only allowed up here because the farmers give us permission so if you're going to come up the Antrim Hills just leave the dog at home you're just going to wind up ruining it for everybody in the sweet despair I find something true that I like I won't stress you dear Okay, and that was Carn Fun at Country Park um, We're going to lose light in about 30 minutes or so So I'm going to try and rush now down to Larn, to the park in Larn And see if we can get a couple of shots just to get that nice golden glow at the end of the day or we'll turn up and you know the sun will be gone but time is my only escape i know that i lost you the night well absolutely raging just missed the 420 ferry the scotland would have been an incredible photograph coming out of the harbor it's kind of what i was hoping for it's what large known for a lot is the harbor and is the ferry but we missed it, and the light's pretty much gone. Some low clouds have come in and rained it. So, gonna finish up here. So, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this little adventure. You can subscribe and, oh, oh I'll get Gary to do this, because that's more fun. Gary, encourage the people to subscribe. Uh, subscribe, uh, send him money, and he likes when you hit thumbs up. Bye. You don't have to send me money. Well, 